Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you and a review of Apologia's Exploring Creation with General Science. I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a quick look through all the different components, then I'll come back here and share my thoughts on it. So here is what the textbook or the main book looks like. It is hard cover and it's over 400 pages, so it is quite thick and heavy. Inside, they have the instructional support options. They have additional information about the book, how to use it. And they also have a website here where there's a code, um, a password you can put in and access extra information. Now there's 14 modules. So the first one is the history of science, search for the truth, scientific inquiry and the scientific method, documenting and interpreting experimental results, scientific analysis and history. Then it heads into an earth science section. So there's astronomy, geology and paleontology, meteorology and oceanography. Then it moves on to general chemistry, general physics, life science, general biology, marine science, environmental science, science and creation. And then there is a lab supply list index at the back. So I'll give you a look at what it looks like here. So here is the first module. So there's color pictures. There's the section here about what the student needs to do, which corresponds with the notebook I'll show you in a moment. This is an experiment. This is what it looks like. Again, what to do. I'll just quickly show you kind of what a module looks like. So this is the study guide at the end for module number one. Now this exact page is in the student notebook I'll show you in a minute. So they don't have to write in here. And then it moves on to module two. So I'll give you a quick flip through here. You can see at the back there's the index. There's what you need for each module for the labs. And then here are the modules. So then to go along with this book, there is the student notebook. Now I got this from the company and for some reason a few weeks ago, I'm not sure what happened here, the spirals came out but in the middle. So it must be just like a one-off, I'm not sure why that happened. But this is the student notebook. It has parent notes about note taking experiments. And it has quite a big section about how to grade and how to keep track of grades. And then here is the schedule that's all laid out for students. So it's a 33 week course is how they lay it out. Most modules are around two weeks, but sometimes it's different. So like here, this one is only two weeks, this one's two and a half, this one's three weeks. So each one varies by length, but there's a little check off if they're doing it four days a week. And here's what module one would look like. So it has this week one, day one, what they need to do. Week one, day two, what they need to do. Week one, day three, and so on. So it's all broken up that way to follow the schedule, which makes it really easy to use. At the back, they have the lab part. So these are the experiments and the labs. And then up here are the module parts and the notes that they do. So that's what this notebook looks like. This one is, I think, yeah, about 550 pages. It's quite large. And then the other thing that comes with it is the solutions and tests. So in here, they have, again, just that same instructional support. They have the contents. They have a little bit about before you begin. Again, the book extras and password. So this is that practice module they do. These are the answers for it. And this is um, in this book here, so they can write in this one. And then this is the actual test for module one. 
and this is the answers, and they have how to score it right here. So that's everything that's in here. And this is all in black and white. So that's a look at those three components for the general science. So my son who recently completed this course was 12 slash 13, grade eight when he was using it. And he really wasn't sure where he wanted to go with this science. And that's why he decided to do this general science course because it covered such a wide variety of topics. It could kind of help him figure out what he was interested in, what kind of piqued his interest. And so that's why he chose this one. He did have the option of a number of others, but he chose this one. From a parent's perspective, I found that it's very user-friendly. It's very self-guided. It's very, it's just easy for a parent. You have the books, they know what they need to do. You're checking in, but overall it's quite simple. I did find there was a lot to put together or to purchase for the experiments. I put a box together and tried to put everything I already had in there with a list of things that he would need as we went through. He ended up not doing all the experiments and so we didn't use everything. I know there is a box you can buy, but it is quite expensive and that has all of the different modules, like everything kind of like comes in a little bag that's labeled, but I didn't do it that way. So that's one thing that, that it is a little bit pricier and the experiment stuff can add to that cost. Now, because I'm not the one who did this course, I can only tell you so much about it. So I asked my son to write a list of what he thought about it. So he said that the schedule was really clear. It was concise and so it was really easy for him to follow it. Also that it went more in depth than just some of the other sciences we'd used, which he really did appreciate. He liked to kind of dive a little deeper. He said the experiments were okay. Um, this format of Apologia, he would probably do it again. Not this particular course, of course, but some of the other high school ones. Um, under cons, he said some of the modules were, were kind of dry, and then also that some of the topics weren't very interesting to him. So again, he was just trying to find out what part of science <coughs> excuse me, he wanted to follow or to continue with through high school. So I understand some of it wasn't an interest to him. That makes sense. But from a parent's perspective, again, simple to use, very independent, and it worked. He kind of went through everything and he's decided which science he wants to kind of branch off into for next year. So I'd say that was a su successful science year. That's hard to say. <laughs> if there's anything I've missed, <clears throat> if you have any specific questions about this course, leave them in the comment section down below and I will try and answer them for you. But otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.